Okay, good morning. Good morning. Geraldine Maloney, formerly Sister William Patrice. Correct. We're back to Jerry Maloney. Back to Jerry. Yes. <laughs> and welcome, welcome, an official welcome to campus. Thank you. You are now a resident of the Weber Center, which is wonderful. And I thank you for your willingness to share your story. Okay. We, I know uh, we only have a short amount of time to tell, so you're going to have to pick and choose <laughs> and uh, remember your preaching. Your life has been a way of preaching, so mm -hmm. what you have to share is a gift to all of us who are, are watching. Let's start with where you grew up. You know, I think you're from Chicago, and uh, your family, where you went to school, okay? Well, I'm from the south side of Chicago. My, uh, my dad's called us the South Side Irish. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dad was Irish-American. My mother was Italian-American. So, as they said, I have the best of both worlds. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I went to Our Lady of Peace grade school, which was run by the Kentucky Dominicans. Oh. And they were just wonderful teachers and good friends. And then, in high school, I went to Aquinas Dominican High School. And so the Kentucky Dominicans didn't have a high school? No, they, okay. uh, they probably had one somewhere, but yeah. uh, then I went over to, uh, had the Adrian Dominicans at uh, Aquinas. Mm -hmm. And I went there for four years, and then I entered on... Who stood out as, a, as one of your teachers there at Aquinas? Oh, uh, <coughs> Sister Marie Bride Walsh, mm. who is going to be a hundred pretty soon. Really? Okay. And she was a, a mentor, she was a good friend, uh, she helped me to enter, and uh, I've kept up with her, you know, over the years, little by little, and now she's here, and I go see her every day. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. um, and I had some other wonderful teachers there, too. and the, the uh, Adrian Dominicans were just so friendly. All the sisters were so friendly, and I was in a lot of activities. I played on. Is that um, one thing that attracted you to the Adrian Dominicans? Oh yes, uh -huh. <laughs> I knew them better than the Kentucky Dominicans because in grade school you don't do too much in the line of extracurricular. But at Aquinas, you know, I was everything. I was on the volleyball team. I was on the NHS. I was in several clubs and. And so I got to know the sisters mm -hmm. quite well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about your family? Well, my family. Your my siblings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, did I mention my dad was a Chicago cop? Okay. My mom was a homemaker. Uh, I have a bro had a brother who's now deceased, and uh, he had a number of children that I keep in touch with. And then my sister, Mary Ellen, and uh, she's a widow, but uh, you know, she, she, they come to see me, and my sister Pat and she, her husband, she still has, Pat Brown, they were here recently with a nephew of mine. Uh, they came to visit after I moved from Saginaw to Adrian. Oh, so they've been since you've come here to Adrian. That's right, but, yes, mm -hmm. and oh, they were just, my nephew had never seen, the, had never been here before, so we took him to see the cemetery. He was positively enthralled with the circle mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I took them all I took them to uh, Holy Rosary Chapel to see the windows and uh, oh my nephew just couldn't get over you know mm -hmm. the beauty of the place and and everything so mm -hmm. that was nice mm -hmm. now you entered in um, 20 on the 25th of June so Tomorrow, Tomorrow is your anniversary. anniversary yes, yeah. that, that's a June date for anyone that yeah. entered in June. 1950. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so Long tell time. us how you got that uh, urge to be a sister and an Adrian Dominican sister. I think because of the fact that I was so involved in activities at Aquinas that I got to know the sisters on a personal basis, not mm -hmm. just, oh, mm -hmm. she's my geometry teacher right, or right. She, you mm -hmm. know, that kind of thing. And uh, they were all, all of them were moderators of the different clubs and activities. And so, since I belong to a lot of those things, That's nice. I got to uh -huh. know a lot of them uh, uh -huh. uh, quite well, yes. Mm -hmm. So besides Marie Bride, was there another? Uh, I'm trying to think. Well, it may, it yeah, may. Yeah, I kind yeah. of forgot the, yeah. got their names. But yeah, there were several others. Sister Mary Cecile. Oh. 
I don't, can't remember the names, but they were all just so wonderful to, to be with and, mm -hmm. and uh, to work with mm -hmm. in the uh, extracurricular mm -hmm. activities. So then when you entered, you entered with a large group, I'm sure. Yes, yes. 66. Then, good, good. And then you went through the formation program here. That's right. And you made profession. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, you know, whenever, the year after, I guess. Right. <laughs> so you've been involved in numerous ministries, which we, we can't do them all, <coughs> talk about them all. Mm -hmm. But are there a couple that perhaps were special or transformative for you? Well, I think probably when I was pastor of a parish in right. the Lansing Diocese, uh, I was the pastor of St. Joseph Parish in Gaines, okay. which is uh, in this diocese. It's kind of near Flint. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. was pastor there for seven years. And uh, I just love the people. Now, when you say you were pastor, what do you mean? That means that I ran the parish except for the liturgy, and, okay. uh, except for the Eucharist. I did other liturgies, the mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. word, uh, serv word services when the priest couldn't come and, uh, um, you know, that kind of thing. Funerals, you know, I was always there at everything for the funeral. Sometimes right. I preached, sometimes I didn't, but uh, quite, quite involved in uh, running the parish. Right, right. Uh, you did everything except the sacraments. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. You ran that parish. Mm -hmm. Must have been exhausting. Oh, it was in a lot of ways, but just wonderful people. And I still, some of them still keep up with oh, me. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, some of them even come to visit. <laughs> that's good. And I'm sure they'll like to see your story, because you know, it's going to be on YouTube as well. Oh, And we'll okay. tell you later how they can access that. Okay. But that would be interesting. All right, so being a pastor for eight years, that came later on in your ministry. I see you were in Puerto Rico as well. Yes, I taught high school there in Puerto Rico, and I loved that. I loved living there in Guayama. Mm -hmm. I love going to the beach at the Caribbean, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I lived with some wonderful sisters there, and uh, the, uh, the kids were great. They all were bilingual, so I didn't have to think about teaching in Spanish. I taught everything in English. And, and what did you teach? I taught um, math and science. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rather challenging subjects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, but I enjoy I love teaching math and science. Mm -hmm. and, Mm -hmm. uh, to some other place where I was, I taught Latin, but I don't think it was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't remember where it was. Mm -hmm. How was the um, the changes of Vatican II? How did that affect you, and how did you feel about that? Oh, I was very welcoming. Okay. I mean, I welcomed the, yeah. the changes. I thought they were all for the good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Was there something in particular that you were excited about? Did you change your, your ministry at that time? Because a lot of women were in teaching and then they got, they felt they were called to, to church work. Uh, and I don't remember when I actually changed uh, my ministry, whether it was right away after Vatican II or not. I, I just mm -hmm. don't remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I went from, as I say, I went from being a high school teacher to being a, a parish administrator, mm -hmm. or a parish pastor. And what was it that, um, caused you to leave St. Joseph Parish in Gaines? Just a yeah, sense of... I probably figured that I was, you know, pretty much done and right. had done what I could and uh, I was kind of ready to retire. Mm -hmm. And so d how did you retire? Yeah. Well, I retired, but I, I went to live, I remember I went to live with Ruth Adamitis at her place of uh, where she was running a, a parish. And, uh, so and that's I, right, you two are very good friends. That's right. Mm -hmm. I've lived with her a couple places up in West Branch and, and out in Mayville. She was pastor at uh, two different places. And uh, when I came to, you know, I was retired, so I would just do a lot of things to help out in the parish. I had I ran a Bible study group oh, and mm -hmm. you know a whole a whole lot of different things, and I would do wake services and. And having been the associate pastor yourself, you were very conscious of where your need was. That's right. And where you could be of assistance. That's right. Yeah. I'm sure Ruth was most grateful. Plus the parishioners. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I liked the parishioners, and they like you know I got along uh -huh. fine with them, and they 
were very accepting of the fact that they didn't have a priest pastor mm -hmm. because uh, Sister Ruth did such a good job and I, as I say I was uh, you know I, I was mm -hmm. the helper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you were engaged in Essexville as well. Where's Essexville, Essexville Michigan? Essexville is uh, you know, it's up, up a little ways. I'm trying to remember whereabouts it. And so having retired, you, you became a pastoral associate again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very nice. I mm -hmm. enjoyed uh, working there, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what brought you to Adrian at this time, well, besides the car? <laughs> the car, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, well, Sister Ruth had to come because she had some knee problems. She had to have therapy or surgery or something and so I stayed about five weeks or so mm -hmm. and I was in touch with my chapter prioress and I said well I can't live here by myself I'm not mm -hmm. going to live here by myself mm -hmm. and uh, um, so I guess it's time for me to move on so I said I'm not ill so would you be able to get me a place in Weber Center mm -hmm. I said I'm I don't use a, a walker or a cane or anything. I can get around, mm -hmm. I can do the stairs mm -hmm. if the elevator doesn't work. So Weber Center would be fine for me. So she, she was able to get that mm -hmm. ready for mm -hmm. me. <laughs> to take a, a different look at this point, vacations. Did you and Ruth go someplace in particular that was a very special spot for you? I believe we went down to Valdosta, Georgia where her brother-in-law, well her sister and brother, her sister was deceased, but her brother-in-law lived. I think we went down there once or twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, another time I went down to San Antonio. I don't remember if I was by myself or, or whether I just, I can't remember even why I went to San Antonio, okay. mm -hmm. but it was wonderful being there. Do you have a favorite scripture saying or a favorite um, motto or just something that keeps you going? Well, I was thinking about that question about scripture and I know one that uh, often would hit me would be, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And I feel that I tried to really live by that. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I'm sure some of your former students that are probably watching would agree with you. <laughs> okay, do you have a favorite book? Well, I, I just read constantly when I was a kid, always at the library, and I read. Great, you know, uh -huh. I read everything in sight. Uh, I remember the Hardy Boy Mysteries, and then Little Men and Little Women. You know, those were you know the books mm -hmm. I read as a kid. But I can't really say I have a favorite book mm -hmm. because I read all the time, whatever I can get. Do you have a favorite on. movie? Not really, no. Okay. I did as a as a teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriends and I would go to the movies every Friday night, and uh, no matter what was playing, and they and at my theater they always had a double feature and a, a news thing. So you know, going to the movies it was a long, <laughs> a long mm -hmm. stretch, but um, that was something that uh, I did with my girlfriends all the time. If you could go any place in the world. You don't have mm. to worry about expenses. Where would you want to go? <laughs> special uh, vacation, or uh, special historical? Hmm. I've never been to California. Okay. In fact, the farthest west I've been would, was Des Moines, Iowa, when I went to visit a member of my crowd who is now deceased, and she was there, so I, that's the, as far west as I ever got. So I've always kind of thought it would be nice to go to California. Well, I could be on your bucket list, huh? Yes, indeed. See if, you can, <laughs> see if you can get there at some point. Is there something about you that those of us that, I know you a little bit, but we'd be surprised to know about you? What would you like to share mm. that perhaps? Hmm. I was we, trying to think of that one. Uh, no, I, uh, I really can't think of anything, you know, that would be surprising to anybody. No? Mm -hmm. You haven't done something daring? No, I don't think so. <laughs> like walking the tightrope? Did you watch that last night uh, on TV? No, I didn't, oh, but somebody anyway. told me about yeah. it. Yes. How do you want to be remembered, Jerry? 
Well, I'd like to be remembered as a, concern, a person concerned for others and helpful and kind mm -hmm. and uh, you know, willing to uh, go out of my way for if, if I could be helpful to somebody. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you wanted to share that I didn't ask you about? No. Oh, you did mention something, uh, or in the questions, was your favorite holiday, and I oh, said, good. well, it was Christmas because uh, of seeing so many members of the family and good. so many gatherings, and uh, it was always very special in my family. So Christmas was a happy time oh, yes. in your family. Right, it was, and then, you know, singing in the choir and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. it, so you've always yeah. sung in choirs? I've sung in choirs mm -hmm. quite a bit, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm mm -hmm. still singing in the mm -hmm. choir <laughs> here. <laughs> so th you think you've shared everything as much as you can? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. I'm sure your life uh, has touched many others, and there were a couple very good quotes at the Jubilee celebration, if you uh, heard the homily and the reflection and the introduction, that helps us to remind us that uh, no matter where we are or who we are or what's going on, we are preaching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What gives you energy and passion at this time of your life? Hmm. Well, I think being, um, being able to get around very well here that I can go and Good. visit. And I can go to Maria every day and visit maybe twice a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can just you know, go wherever I want. Uh, and I don't have mm -hmm. to worry about my cane or my walker. Or, good, yeah. good. Um, have you been invited to help out someplace? Usually when we have new uh, people on campus, they get grabbed I, to help uh, out here I have there. already volunteered for the Literacy Center, oh, and uh, I haven't started yet, but um, Carlene's going to get me going on that, I think, shortly. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm in the choir. I'm also mm -hmm. a lector. Good. I think those are my involvements so That's far. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. you, uh, and you can be preaching, too, if you're a preacher. I mean, you can get up and give a reflection. You mm -hmm. said you did that at the parishes. Yeah. Well, that would be great. Well, enjoy uh, your time with us. Celebrate tomorrow your anniversary oh, yes. of when you entered. Yes. And in the name of the congregation, thank you for being who you are and how you have been generous with your time and service with so many and have touched many lives. And... Uh, you are a blessing for sure, Jerry. Thank so you. thank you for your willingness to, to tell your story and then to switch it and come a day ahead of time. Oh, thank, so thank you. you. Thank you, Peg. I mm -hmm. was really happy to uh, be, in, be interviewed. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.